What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Quato's Corner. Coming to you from Minnesota. All right, guys, I got an update. I got some answers. Got some justifications. And that is all in regards to this. Uh, a lot of you guys know via text, Twitter, or watching the video. Pulled this uh, 1910 Johnny Evers E98. And I had some questions. It says there number 14. But if you look at the back, card 14 is Cy Young. So, Johnny Evers is supposed to be card 25. I got an explanation and I got an answer. If you look on this box, it says Ty Cobb, number 8. And you look at the back of the card, Ty Cobb says number 10. It's a very simple explanation. This particular card, which I talked to the director of sales at Beckett, Mr. Chris, I can't remember his name, Stabile, Stabile. Um, this card was done 40, cataloged 40 years ago. It was graded in 2019, cataloged 40 years ago. And what Beckett did, as far as, it's on their website as well. These cards technically don't have card numbers. You know, the back of our cards these days have the number on the side, and then there's a separate checklist, and everything's, you know, everything lines up. This is a 30-card set. What Beckett did was put the cards in alphabetical order by last name. So Evers would be the 14th card in the set alphabetically in order. Cobb is the 10th card. Here it says number 8. Honus Wagner says 28. Cy Young says 30. So when you're looking on the back here, they're in different orders. Cy Young's number 14, which is what I thought this was supposed to be. So that's the answer. That is the answer, and that's the explanation. The other question that came up, and trust me, I was just as concerned too, because there's no way in hell I would have ever thought that I would have pulled this card out of this box. There was no uh, grading down here, surface, corners, etc., etc. There was just one grade. The explanation on that, Beckett says that if your card is not a 9 or 9.5 or gem or 10, they don't do all the secondary grading typically with vintage cards. So that explained why the secondary grades were missing. And last but not least, my buddy Jay Schmo had actually found it in the meantime, but I did get this emailed to me from uh, Mr. Stabil or Char Charles. This is the registry with Beckett, graded 2019. Here's all your secondary grades that they didn't do because it's technically a lesser grade. And then he uh, proceeded to tell me, congratulations, you found yourself a dandy. <laughs> the only thing that was kind of a, bu a bummer about it 100% this card is not from the Black Swamp find. Uh, he confirmed, Charles with Beckett confirmed with me that PSA got all those cards, every one of them. The PSA was working with the family that discovered those cards in 2012. So, cautious, caution to you all out there. If you find a card in a Beckett, SGC, whatever the other grading companies are, and it says Black Swamp Find, it is absolutely a fake. PSA, 100% guaranteed, got all those cards from that find. So, with the research, some phone calls, I, uh, MJ Holding never did get back to me. Um, but Beckett was very cooperative. I actually talked to him on the phone a couple times. He emailed me a few times. He was, sounded like a great dude. 
awesome guy. Guys, that's the update. This is absolutely 100% legit. And I'm happy to have it in my collection. He is a Hall of Famer. <laughs> and they uh, each card has four different colors. Red, orange, green, and I can't remember. Blue, I think. So they're out there. They're out there, guys. Beckett graded three of these. Four of these boxes. They now have accounted for one of them. There's two more out there, he told me. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I did. My day just got a lot better, and I'm at ease now, so I got myself a dandy out of a repack box. If you guys are chasing them, too, I'm going to try a few more. Why wouldn't I? Good luck out there. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting, everyone.